You may just get away with all the objects that we have on the built-in ARCHICAD library. But if you want, you can also create some custom objects. So let's take a look how we do that. I'm going to go back here to the 2D drafting layer combination. So we have our furniture back. Let's create a 3D section here We're using the marquee tool. And we're going to be creating a new TV rack. I'm going to raise the TV a little bit. And right now we have this slab that is made of stone. So I'm going to change this to plywood. And then I'm going to drag and copy this slab here on the 3D. Move it up a little bit. Let's do a wall, generic, also made of plywood, 40 millimeters thick. But before doing the wall, let's move it away from the building wall a little bit. So let's move it like five centimeters on both sides. Now we can do the wall and I'm going to flip the wall, move it down. And then I'm going to make multiple copies here. And then finally, let's create a wall here on the front and move that back a little bit. Good. So let's say this is my TV rack. I'm going to select it all, select all the objects from this TV rack. We can do this in the floor plan or in the 3D. I'm just going to go ahead and do it from here. And then you go to file, library and objects, and then save selection as an object. We have some other options here, but right now we want to do an object. So I'm going to go click on object. ArchiCAD is going to warn us that the top view of the object is what is going to become the symbol of the object. Just go ahead and press OK. Then let's save this with the name TV Rock. Hit save. ArchiCAD is showing us all the beauty materials that we have on those elements. I don't know why we have two surfaces here, so I'm going to make sure they are both the same and then press OK. Now I'm going to group this object so it's easier to select later and go back to our floor plan, change it again to the 2D drafting. And this is not our object. Those are actually the elements that we just created. And then if we go to our objects library on the embedded, we should have the TV rack with a 2D symbol, how it looks in elevations and 3D. And we can also change here some attributes like the fills, the lines and the surface of this object. So let's press OK and add this object here to the plan. I'm going to rotate and position it to the correct place. So here we go. This is an object and this is a group of elements that I can delete. Now let's go ahead and try to change this 2D symbol for the rack. So I'm going to select the rack, go back to File, Libraries and Objects, Open Object. And then ArcCAD is going to open this window where we can add more information about this object, such as author, description. But what we really want to change now is the 2D symbol. So I'm going to click on this window icon here. And there we go. We have a 2D symbol for our rack. I need a little bit of more room here on my screen. So I'm going to go on full screen. Now I have all the zoom buttons here. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete everything but some lines. So I'm going to keep the four lines on the side. And then let's join them here. And let's join here. And this is the 2D symbol that I want. So I can close this, close the TV rack. ArchiCAD is going to say, do you want to save the changes? Yes, we do. And then here, let's bring back the furniture layer again, and our object has a much better looking 2D symbol. I want to show you another example here. I'm going to create a new slab, generic, also plywood. Let's make it 40, and it will be about 2100 by 800, roughly the size of a door leaf. Let's offset this slab copy. So I'm going to make it 50 and I will remove that inner part. I'm using the magic wand. And this one I want it 
to be made of glass a little bit thinner. Let's make it 10. Let's see in 3D how it looks. There we go. So you get the idea. You can keep on going here modeling a better looking door leaf, but that should do the job. So here in floor plan, I have those two panels selected, and then I'm going to go back to File, Libraries and Object, Save Selection As, and then I'm going to choose the option Door Leaf. Arcad is going to ask me what's the name of this door leaf, so I'm going to name it Door Leaf 1 Test. Hit Save. And then Arcad is telling us the door leaf is now available on the door settings. So let's go to any door here. I'm going to go to this laundry door. Go to the settings. Let's look for the door leaf options. There we go. And then if we scroll down here, we should have an option for custom door. If I click on this, we have here our door leaf one test. If we have more options for door leaf, we should have a list here, but right now we just have one. So let's go and hit OK. And let's see this door in 3D. We should be able to have our custom door leaf applied. So go ahead, create the door leaves that you may need. And remember that you can create some other custom objects, such as the door leaf, some windows panels, some wardrobe doors. So feel free to explore a little bit.